In this video I'll be demonstrating how to change the Windows 7 login screen background. So what you'll need is you'll need an image that you want to change it to. So in this case I just have this nice one that I found on the internet. So what you need to do is you need to open your registry editor. So this can be done just by going to start and then the little box here that says search for programs and files, type in regedit and then press enter. Okay. What you now need to do is on the left here you'll see these three things. You need to go to the one that says H key local machine. If you click the little arrow next to that it will expand. Now you need to go down to software. This will expand now. Now you need to look right down here to Microsoft. There. Scroll right down again. And find Windows. There's your Windows one. And now scroll again down to current version. Click the arrow again. I'm clicking the arrow every time to expand it. Now go down to authentication and then go into log on UI and then down to background. Now there should be a key here saying OEM background. If there isn't a key here, you right click, go to new, and then go to binary value, type OEM background in here and save it. That's only if you do not have one. I've already got one, so I'm just keeping it. Now, when you have this, you need to double click it. You'll get this little box here. And it'll have things like value data. To enable changing the background screen, change this to 1. Likewise, when you want to un if you want to undo this, just change that back to 0. Press OK. It'll, this bit here will now change to 1. And you close registry editor. You're now ready to um, organize your image. So you need to open up your C drive. And now go to Windows, System32, and then into this folder, which is somewhere in here, called OOBE or Uber, whatever, OOBE. Go into here, and you've got this folder. Now you need to create a folder in here, create a new folder called Info like that. Now open up the info folder and in the info folder create another new folder and call it background or no backgrounds like that. Now go into here and now in here you place your background file the picture you want as your background. So here here I have mine here. I'm just going to copy it in. So copy it in or move it or whatever into there. Okay. It's important to note that the file has to be less than 256 kilobytes. Any bigger than that and it will not work. Also make sure it's reasonably close to your screen resolution because the system will stretch it or adjust it to make it fit. You need to rename this to backgrounddefault.jpg. It has to be a JPEG format. Also get the correct capitalization, so that's lowercase but default ha starts with a D. I mean a capital D, obviously starts with a D, starts with a capital, capital D. Um, I'm not sure if that matters, but best just get it right. So now you've saved that, you can now just go and log off. I will not be able to show you the login screen in this in the screencast, as it's um, the screen capture software cannot do this. However, I will take a photo of the screen and you'll be able to see it then. So this is what it looks like before and after. And this is another one that I did. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this and it's hopefully a useful tip and you do this and have a nice background screen. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And you can also visit my website at camerongrave.me.